Chapter 2 The Red Bell Issues Come inside, child, Madame Zaza said. What's your name? Delphi Durand. Delphi felt tears prickling in her eyes. She was sure she was about to be told off. She blinked quickly. She hated crying in front of people. I saw you through the window, Madame Zaza said to her. Where do you learn ballet? Delphi was very surprised by the question. I, I don't go to classes, she answered. I just read about it in books and practiced at home. <clears throat> I see. Madame Zaza looked at her for a moment. Well, why don't you come in? Come in, Delphi echoed. Madame Zaza nodded. It's cold out here, and I think you'd like to see around, am I right? Yes, Delphi gasped. I'd love to see inside. Come then. Walking in a daze, Delphi followed Madame Zaza inside the school. They went down the warm, brightly lit corridor. Here we have the dance studios, Madame Zaza explained, pointing to two rooms, one on either side. Wow, Delphi breathed. Madame Zaza looked thoughtfully at the child. Do you have any belly issues, child? No, Delphi replied. She always just danced in bare feet. Madame Zaza gave a small nod and set off down a dark corridor, opening the door at the end that led to a small storeroom. Walls were covered with shelves, piled high with boxes, dusty books, ballet costumes, and what looked like a chest full of new ballet leotards and socks. Madame Zaza went into the room, took an old battered box from a high shelf. As Delphi watched, Madame Zaza opened the lid to reveal a pair of old red leather ballet shoes, with red ribbons nestling among yellowing tissue paper. The, le the leather was slightly crinkly, the insides of the shoes were deep cream, they were worn and slightly shabby, but as Delphi looked at them, she felt a sudden urge to reach into the box. Her feet tingled as if they wanted to try them on. Unable to touch her to stop herself, she touched the soft red leather, then realising what she was doing, she pulled her hand back. She looked up to see Madame Zaza studying her face, her expression unreadable. Do you like them? Madame Zaza asked. Oh yes, Delphi breathed. The ballet shoes might be old, but they were beautiful. Would you like to borrow them, child? Madame Zaza asked gently. Borrow them? Delphi stared in surprise. Why would you lend them to me? I don't even come here to classes. If you would like, you can come back tomorrow and join in the class you are watching, Madame Zaza said. Delphi could hardly believe her ears. But, but, well, I'd love to, but Mom and Dad can't afford me to have lessons. She blushed as she admitted the truth. Madame Zaza waved her hand dismissively. Money does not matter. Just come tomorrow as I ask. Her eyes met Delphi. I will teach you for free. Delphi's mind spun. Go home now and tell your parents what I have said. They may ring me if I have any, if you ha if they have any questions. Madame Zaza gave her the box with the ballet shoes and turned and took a brand new pink leotard and socks out of the chest. Bring these clothes and shoes to wear tomorrow. Delphi looked down at the box in her arms. What if the shoes don't fit me? Madame Zaza gave a mysterious smile. Oh, I don't think there'll be a problem with that. I think you'll find them just the perfect size. They've been waiting for the right person to come along, and something tells me you might be that person. Her eyes stared deeply into Delphi. These are very special shoes, Delphi. I hope one day you'll find out just how special they are. Suddenly, her tone became brisker. Now I must return to class. I will see you tomorrow ready and change for four, half past four sharp. Thank you, Delphi gasped, almost before she knew it. She was following Madame Zaza back down the corridor, and then she was back outside in the snow again. But Delphi didn't feel cold. Excitement raced through her as she hugged the shoes to her chest. She rushed home to tell Mum she was going to start ballet classes tomorrow. She couldn't wait.